Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jay DeMarco here, author of The Millionaire Fast Lane, and today I want to ask you, how do you define wealth? When you hear the word wealth, what do you think of? Now I'm going to guess if you're, if you're like most people, you think of big houses, you think of fast cars, you think of money, you think of some kind of material item. And I'm here to tell you that that kind of thinking is patently false. Wealth, its core constituent, its core ingredient isn't money, but it is time. Time is your most precious resource. It is your most precious asset. And yet, you know how many people just mindlessly squander their time as if it is an, an abundant supply, as if it will never run out? And I bring this up because just recently I was emailed and tweeted a couple examples of how people do this, how they just waste their time like it's never going never gonna to end. The first example was uh, a video someone sent me was a gentleman who videotaped a grand opening of an In-N-Out burger out in Texas. And the line to get a hamburger at this place must have been three miles long. I imagine the wait was two hours long. And yet, this is how people value their time. This is how they spend their free time. Standing in line, waiting for a freaking hamburger. The other example. A gentleman tweeted me a picture of a long line that was filing out into a courtyard around a building. And I guess what was going on was a Wendy's was giving away a free hamburger. And he said that this line, there was an hour wait, an hour wait for this free hamburger. Now, how much do you think a Wendy's hamburger costs? $1.59. That's what it costs, $1.59. And yet, these idiots are standing in line waiting for a $1.59 hamburger. This is how they choose to value their free time. Now, imagine if you saw this line, you witnessed it, and you went up to some of the people and you said, excuse me, excuse me, I got a great job for you, great business opportunity. You wanna come work for me, great pay. Guy would say, oh sure, what's the pay? $1.59 an hour, that's the pay. The guy would laugh at me, tell me to get lost. If we forced anyone to work for $1.59, They'd scream bloody murder, I ain't working for a $1.59, and yet this is what these idiots are doing. They're standing in line for a hamburger that is valued at $1.59. Folks, if you ever want to be wealthy, you have to understand that wealth, it is primarily defined by time. It is your most precious resource. Let's go back to this example, people waiting in line for a hamburger. What if you went up to one of those people and said, excuse me, would you be waiting in line for this hamburger if you had three hours left to live? Would they leave? they say, oh gee, I don't want to waste it here. Of course not, they'd leave. Okay, well what about three days? Would they leave at three days? Three days left to live. You still waiting in line for that hamburger? Three months, three years. At what threshold will these people realize that, gee, you know what? Standing in line, waiting an hour, wasting an hour of my life for a hamburger worth a dollar fifty-nine is not a valuable, not a valuable use of my time. My life is worth more. My time is worth more. I'm not going to do it. You see, we got to think about this morbidly, and, I, and I'm sorry to do this, but we all have a death clock. We all have a death clock that constantly ticks away. It continually combusts. It's the gas tank of our life. And once it's gone, no amount of money will save you from the end. Two of my favorite movies are The Titanic and The Notebook. So please, don't give me any shit. I know they're not guy movies or chick flicks, but these are two my two favorite movies because they highlight, they highlight the importance of time. They highlight how precious our time is. In the notebook, at the end, the elderly couple, they would do anything for five sentient minutes together. They would pay millions for five minutes. And the Titanic, the, the rich uh, steel tycoon, tries to buy himself a lifeboat. And, the, and the, uh, the officer says, your money can't save you any more than it could save me. Think about that for a moment. No amount of money is going to save you. 
No amount of money is going to save me. Once my death comes, it will come. It will not save you. You see, wealth is defined by time. And if you want to be wealthy, you have to start valuing your time at a greater rate. So you might be thinking, oh, MJ, you're being hypocritical. You're wasting your time right now doing this video. Well, this is where the fast lane comes into play. I invest my activities, my life, my career, I invest in activities that yield a positive ROI in both money and time. I mean, this video, think about it. I do this video, it'll take me a half hour to do it, or another half hour to throw it up on YouTube. But once it's up on YouTube, it will last forever. It will work for me 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You know, someone three weeks from now could watch this video and say, you know, I like what this guy says. I'm gonna go buy his book. Well, it just made me money there. You see, the dividend of that is time and money. So our objective as fast laners is we want to invest our life into activities that will yield time, that will yield money. And when I say time, I'm talking about free time. I want activities that will work for you while you're not working. I mean, with this video, again, as an example, it works 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I could sleep, somebody could be watching it. I could be swimming in the pool, somebody could be watching it. It works 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So think about that. That's what you want to invest in. Invest in things that yield time and money. So to end this, to conclude this, think about your last moment on earth, your last days, your last breath, what are you going to be wishing for at that very moment? Are you going to be wishing for more money or more time? Because when the end comes, you're not going to be wishing for more money. You're going to be wishing for more time. So start valuing your time as your most precious asset, your most precious commodity. Put time number one. It is king. So thanks for watching. The sun is going down, so i got to finish this up. I appreciate you watching. My name is MJ DeMarco, author of The Millionaire Fast Lane. Have a great day.